All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm here in a game between Tiny Dragon and Devil's Wrath. So two of the OG best players in the game playing against each other. Should be very awesome. It is going to be actually one of my favorite decks in the game from Devil's Wrath. Um, at least when he plays it. When I play it, I just suck. But when he plays it, it's pretty damn cool. So it's called Creme de la Creme, actually. So this this battle group from Devil's Wrath is called Creme de la Creme. That's what he called it back in the day, at least. Um, and then since then, it always stuck in my head. And what it is, it's actually a Mercy plus Chopping Blocks battle group. So you have Chopping Blocks, which deal, deals 5 damage to the lowest HP champion. So the lowest HP champion being here this... Oh, actually, it's the uh, Harbinger, actually. But I'm guessing it just killed whatever was over there, right? I didn't see it being played, sadly. Here, Void Mage took it? Yeah, Void Mage took the damage and died. So, ooh, has the kill on the Harbinger, but not the Nora Globe. Yeah, he won't get the Nora Globe. The Crusader will cl uh, cleanse as well and heal for five. But the amount of Nora gen that now ti or Devils can take is very incredible, right? Because he, he, he gets a kill with the chopping blocks or whatever, and then he um, reanimates, gets the Nora back, and then your chopping blocks kills the reanimation again. See, look, here's the Void Mage at 14 HP. And now this chopping blocks, because it always attacks the lowest HP champion, will just basically kill the Void Mage. Now against FS, it's actually not that good because FS has the um, the Fun Restoration. So playing it on him is kind of bad, but he got 73 Nora back, right? So he should have a lot of Nora. And this, this champion right here, right now at four defense, 14 damage. He wants this Nora Globe, but then he only attacks once. So it's hard to say what the play is. It's three champions versus one, but this one champion is pretty hard to kill. Scale armor with trail hella ground you should have like a triple deploy though or yeah there's the uh soul render actually good base health 50. he wants to get this void mage kill just because he doesn't want it to get healed by accident but i don't know if he can it's gonna be hard yeah Man, he really is like, should I double tap? Do I get the Norglobe? I think, I mean, I'm, I'm a big Norglobe fan. My play would be... That thing lags like a fucker. <laughs> well, who does he have the equip on? On him? Ah, here's the Crown of Night Barb. By the way, that's another... W ah, there you go. Look at this. So he gets this kill. Um, and now, so what happened is he plays that spell, which heals up the Crusader. And he has the double chopping blocks going off to, to kill this Void Mage. That delays the Norglobe getting as well. Suppress. Was that an execute attack? It was. Okay, so he's actually leaving this Norglobe. But look, boom. Yeah, getting killed the Void Mage. Thing is, though, if we see a Hippo Stampede, that might be a kill, right? Hippo Stampede. He has a 5 defense. But gets this one so many norglobes three norglobes and i think because it's fs i think that tiny is still doing fine right it's two versus three right now on the map but the thing is that there's three norglobes that are all kind of tiny dragons like he just deploys on this one this one he can take and he can deploy here to get this one as well yeah there you go it takes this one. Ooh, this is actually a very good deploy dream state against devil's wrath that's kind of mean the reason that's mean is because this battle group tends to play a lot of spells because of this crown, right? So every time a spell is played, um, the, this champion loses six, and the closest enemy champion gains six. So that means every time a spell is played, this Crusader gets six health. That's why it's so strong as well to play Crusader, is because it's so hard to kill him because he's getting so much health from the um, this uh, crown. Eh, he's gonna just engage. Yeah, the reason he engages is because this champion has the buffer. So you actually like this champion. Actually, it's kind of weird that he has the relic or the equip on him, so you actually want him to kind of die because you don't want your enemy to get too much value out of this. So you either want to shatter or just have the champion die. Um, yeah, see, so double deploy here because he got the Nora Globes. He's FS and he got the Nora Globes, right? So he can move over one, attack once. All right, there's a stealth. Can he get in this font? One, two, three, four, no. Whoa, he actually retreats the Soul Render. Ah, there's an invisible champion here too. Holy cow! So there's even an invisible champion in this map right now. That uh, Tiny has. So it's 
one, two, three, four, and then five for the invisible champion. Crazy. Now let's see the twenty nine HP on this uh, shredder. So this is the champion that will take the the double chopping blocks. Plays it again. There you go. Look at his heal though. Boom. Heals. Well, it he took two, but he heals for six. And now he should have this kill. Fourteen. Yeah, exactly. Perfect kill. Perfect kill. Sucky thing. Actually, I don't know. Oh, plus the mercy. Mercy isn't. Yeah, okay, seventy four Nora. It's fine. Yeah. Mercy, so he gets the Nora back, and he heals for another five. Now the thing is though, which is not the reason this is not so amazing. Look at this. Boom, boom. Fucking love that dude. So cool. Now he'll come back, right? Well, this Nora globe might be devils though. This won't be hard to get. This one because the thorn fingers aren't taking it, and these champions aren't getting over there either. Oh, he double taps the multi. I forgot about that. Thirteen damage minus. Ah, okay. Barrage. Okay, twenty-one HP. Fourteen HP. Does he have the kill? It's so close. I mean, if Crusader dies, it's GG. Oh, <gasps> Hippo Stampede. But he's at six defense. Ooh, and he only has two, and one doesn't get a, a charge. So it's ten. Eleven minus six is five. Oh, he's not a kill, though. He's at 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. He needs 2 more damage. He's 2 damage off. He can He can get the normal globe. Oh, he played double hippo? Okay, that's insane. Okay, GG. Double hippo stampede. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He'll get both normal globes here. Yeah. Yeah. He just gets both these normal globes. Um... Yeah, gets both normal globes, and then he has this vaunt somehow. Like, FS is so insane sometimes. Like, meta FS is, like, SP on crack sometimes. When you have two fonts and you're, like, playing, dude, FS, and you're like, what the fuck? Why are all my champions? I have so many champions. 12, 12. Oh, no, 14. Okay. So this actually, this buffer will actually kill the Thornfinger here. Or, sorry, the um, chopping blocks will go through the buffer. I mean, it's just GG, though. I mean, the Soul Render is never going to find whatever Invisible Champion is here. I have no idea what it is. But it's going to take really long to find. He doesn't have this font. And there's one, two, three, four champions here. It's a cool battle group. Because you get the Nora from the Mercy, and then you kill the champions. But it just doesn't... Uh, it's it's not good enough. It's not good enough to ever be like the best battle group in the game, which is probably meta FS, right? At least currently. Obviously that changes, but I think currently the best battle group. When I, I mean when I say best, I mean like most well rounded best. That's meta FS, right? Meta FS is just incredible. He had to play, he's playing it though. He, I I thought he would just surrender here, but he's actually playing the Zedin. Double deploy soul collector. Soul collector is a good idea. In this battle group, at least, for sure. Because you get the um, chopping blocks kill. Ah, he's going to kill the hippos, though. Ah, that's fun. I mean, he protects his champions with the hippo, but he also wasted the hippos because the hippos just die now. But he saved the Thornfinger now from surviving. Oh, but they're now... Oh, no, he's at 16. Okay, all good. I thought they were both at 14, which would then be bad. But thing is, he just had 80 plus 60 Nora in the bank somehow. <laughs> this the soul rider is not having a fun time. There's an invisible champion here, right? Somewhere. Don't know where the fuck the the one dwarf is. <laughs> the chopping blocks doing twenty damage here. Ooh, Norigen. And like that's just what's so insane. You know, you March Song plus FS bonus, you're basically two fonts ahead, right? And then um you know, you have adapted champions with range. And this thing is this Mind Weaver, like I said, with a dream state actually just kind of counters these spells. The reason, like I said, you want to play spells to get the the crown value. Ooh, this Thorn Finger is actually at 8 HP, 8 HP now for some reason. No idea why. Yeah. Why is it at 8? The fuck? Why is it at 8 HP for no reason? It's like mimic to the field over here. I have no idea. Yeah, the reason he's deploying topics of that dwarf that we said, the invisible one, that's over here somewhere. And he does fine against it with tough three. Holy cow, look at this. Tough three. One defense right now, but he can get higher. He's hoping to get value from this uh, soul channeling, but he has to find him, and he can't. 
can't find the invisible champ. Like, this utter dark is just doing nothing over here. We can move up. But it's not, I mean, he has tough rank one right now. Depression. I mean, the Thornfinger dies now. I have no idea how he got to 8 HP. He was at more before. I have no idea. Ah, oh, because he killed the banner or something. No, the banner's over here. I have no idea. Was it, wasn't he at 16? How did Thornfinger take the damage? I'm so confused. Hmm. Weird. I don't know what I missed. Okay, I'm going to move up with Zedin. Though he has no range. Oh, I don't, he deploys here. But like, again, he's, he's a font down. No, he's actually two fonts down. All right, here's the kill though. Gonna get this kill finally. Goes through the buffer too, which is actually very efficient. Um, the next hit from these chopping blocks will go off on the mine shredder. This is actually just a uh, illusion. It's not a champion, so it's only two right now. Two champions over here. Ah, see now it's it's that's funny. All right, so now it's two fonts versus one. Ooh, but this illusion actually helps. This one, this illusion will help find the cha the champion that's here. More sun going favor as well from the dream state. I mean, he just deploy here as well. Probably de double deploy even with two fonts and more sun going. Oh, he actually plays another Frick Savant. Kind of fun. Hmm. Another Marshong as well. Okay. He's getting so much Nora now. He's actually moving very far forward with Savant, but he's kind of tanky, right? 57 health here. And this, uh, if, if the Zen moves in, he's dead, right? You can't do it. Okay, I just contest with the illusion works as well he's at 18 yeah so the lowest champion is still this mind treader but what's the play here right like can he kill a savant ever i don't think so ah there's the agent Mimic die. Did you just attack once? Weird. Weird. Yeah, I attacked once. Why? Because now you're de-stealthed. Because you want the knockout. I thought you would try to go for this knockout on the Mimic, but I guess not. And this, this Soul Render. Doing nothing all game. I'm just chilling here, trying to find out whatever champ is up there. Gonna move back, yeah. I mean, he has the thing is, it's it's really weird about chopping blocks. Is you're not exactly a late game battle group because you want to play tempo, but you do have chopping blocks going every turn. But thing is, he has two nor nor or uh, nor uh, more songs going. I mean, is he ever gonna find what's in this font? By the way, seven, one, two, three, four. You can actually attack him, no matter what. <laughs> He's looking. He can't find him. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you're against an invisible champion, what you need to do is go where they think you're n not going to go or are going to go. I don't know. All right, there's the double tap. Next turn, the Mind Shredder will die. Even though he's at 10 HP, he will die. And he's hoping to just give the Nora Globe over. Oh, no, there's the Fawn. I was wondering where that was. Fawn's going to save the Mind Shredder. All right, there's one attack. He can stealth and then knock out though. But then the pinger is here too. So it's two champions versus one. <laughs> the soul render still can't do anything. I'm surprised he doesn't play the D stealth relic, whatever it's called. Close game.
would have been interesting to see what happened here earlier. Another spell was played, but an invisible one, right? Yeah, invisible spell. So it's very likely a uh, back um, backfire, right? Backfire. It could also be the cleanse. So the two spells you'll see in FS are either the cleanse or backfire. Actually, in this case, it's probably the cleanse, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't move so far forward. All right, there's the crown, which which will then. He, oh, it was a backfire. Okay, what was that then? Crest, yeah, very good. He canceled the uh, the backfire with desecration. Desecration is like a 25 Nora, literally. So canceling a 45 Nora backfire is pretty fine. I think it's 40 Nora actually. 40 Nora, 45 Nora for backfire. So yeah, getting rid of that desecrate. We we're using desecration for that. So yeah, desecration is 25 Nora exactly, and backfire is ooh, a cleanse at uh, 40 Nora. Yeah, so he actually get got some Nora through that trade. gonna get a knockout here probably yeah there's the knockout <laughs> it's okay no oh my god and thing is the soul channel is not helping right it doesn't matter uh, he literally needs to just play one like thing to get the Nora I swear what, what I've noticed when I play against champions with stealth is go where you just went because what you often find is that people think, oh, I'm going to go in circles to find the invisible champion. But what you need to do is go forward, like over here, and then just literally go backwards again. Because they will go where you just went almost always. Because they think they're smart by always going where you just went because you never go over the same place again. Because you think, oh, I just went there. It's not going to be there. But obviously, they're moving as well, right? So um, when they're a stealth champion, they often, often, often go to where you went last turn. All right. I mean, the chopping blocks are still going off on the shredder, so. <clears throat> but, like, double Marsh Song means. I mean, basically, when FS gets double Marsh Song without it being. Uh, without them having too much tempo loss, it's usually GG, right? They just deploy, like, five times on a turn. The crown is very good though, because this crown will make sure that this uh, savant doesn't ever do too much here. Like it will always die rather quickly. Tough rank three though on this Zed now. <laughs> it's a fucking soul render. I swear. Every time I go up there, I laugh a little bit, knowing that it's been doing nothing this whole game. Like, this is a uh, oh, there it is. He came out of hiding finally. This furk infiltrator came out. <laughs> That's funny. Alrighty then. I mean, thing is, one pygmy hippo stamping is dead, right? Because he doesn't play with vaporize for some reason. He's playing with hunter soul tap. I think you always play vaporize. Vaporize is such a good ability. So one pygmy hippo stampede and this utter dark might be dead. Or two pygmy hippo stampedes. I think they were still on cooldown though. Now that I think about it, because he played it not too long ago. Look at this. Boom. Deploy. Frick mimic. Top three, like a badass. The Mimic is really, look at that, double deploy, nice. The Frick Mimic, where it's really strong, is actually once you've transfigured, because then he gets four defense and then like 18 damage because of the Mimic damage, Mimic defense. So that's where he's really OP is when you transfigure. All right, so let's see, he's at 32, 27. Lowest HP champion is 32, 20. It's going to be him for now, so. I mean, Frick Savant is just chilling over in the font. Can't really get rid of him. There's no range here, right? Still no range out for devils. He can finally attack the infiltrator, though. Finally came out of hiding. Took so long for him to find. What spell was that? Forget my him being played. Okay, awkward. Can move in. What's he going for though? The mind weaver or what? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's not a kill though. Yeah, it's not a kill. Fourteen health.
You can't even double tap. Like if he moves in here to attack the infiltrator, yeah, he can attract once. But look, he's now he can't double tap, and the infiltrator will just double tap next turn because he had E to P. And then any spell to kill. This mimic just tanking the agent. I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't know this was Devil's Wrath, I would say this is some complete new player. Like look by these champions and like what's happening in the game, I'd be like, okay, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. But it is Devils, he doesn't know what he's doing. Nightwatch, 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 Nightwatch. Yeah, he just double taps now for 10-10. Ten, ten. Is that a uh played the bog hopper shaman here for the healing? Gets another cleanse. So that was 12 HP plus 8. Alright, gets rid of the grip on him. So now I can attack the soul render. Maybe even kill something else. Ooh, sonic burst, really strong here. Gonna deal a load of damage. Double tap here as well. Oh, and now what's interesting about this because he's at four HP, the uh, chopping box will generally just kill the sniper, the herder. I mean, but he is in range at least of the soul thirst runner, the uh, soul collection on the Zedden. They're all dead. Look, every single one of these champions are dying. Iron Fist agent at two HP. 16 HP, 4 HP. <laughs> They're all gonna die in the chopping blocks next turn. <laughs> well, imagine. Dead and dies the chopping block. Oh, okay, he already died. Uh, from the ping, okay. Damn. <laughs> They're all just gonna die to his own chopping blocks. That'd be pretty funny. Alright, Crusader's still alive. And that means that this Mindweaver is dead, but it doesn't really matter at this point. He can Mercy, but also that's kind of awkward. One thing is strong though, is that you can uh, move this soul collector over here to get the the Nora globes at least. <laughs> yeah, you can get it with the soul collection. Yeah, man, I'm kind of sad the the battle group didn't work out. It's always very fun to watch, so I'm sad we couldn't. Kills the <laughs> the illusions. Uh, I mean, he could play the the mercy here to get this Nora back from the Mind Weaver, but is it really worth it? Uh, okay. Does the mercy? Gives him some health. Actually, he got out of range, so he heals the Zedden. That's smart. But he's giving damage over. That's the thing. Is all this Nora is actually, or all the spells is giving Nora from the dream state as well. All right. Well, he's at ten too, so that actually doesn't help. He has to give. Yeah. There you go. So now. The chopping blocks will kill his mind weaver. Right? Yeah. They actually attacked the crusade as well. Huh. Now, both of these champions are dead. The Zedden and. Yeah, there you go. GG.